Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can block a partial or full screen to prevent touch uh, interaction on the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. First, tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. From the home screen, swipe down at the top to open up quick settings. In here, tap on the settings icon. Next, we scroll down and then tap on accessibility, then tap on interaction and dexterity. Next, go down and tap on interaction control. Then make sure you turn on interaction control shortcut. This will allow you to turn on interaction control. After that, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Now open up the app that you would like to use with interaction control. So here, for example, I'm going to use gallery. Now press on the shortcut keys, such as the side button and the volume up button. So press and release. This will open up a menu. In here, select interaction control. Then tap on options at the top here. In here, you can choose a time limit uh, for how long that you want to block the screen for. So here I can set it for one hour. So this will block the screen for one hour. You can choose to enable or disable side key, volume key, keyboard uh, during the block. So I'm going to leave it as it is and I'll go back in here. So I tap on the back key at the top here. Then to block a partial screen, what you can do is you can select certain part of the screen. So let's say I want to block the navigation bar at the bottom here. I can draw the area. This will allow me to block the recent key, home key, and the back key. I can also readjust the area, so I can move it. I can also readjust the selection box. Now you can also block the top of the screen by drawing at the top here, and this will draw a rectangle to block, uh, to draw an area to block at the top. If you want to block the whole screen, you can go down here and say select block whole screen. That will basically block the whole screen and then tap on done. So quite useful, so you want to uh, block the screen while watching YouTube. You don't want anyone to uh, make changes to the YouTube app so that when you give the device to a child or some kids, you don't want them to, um, to do anything with the phone. You can just simply block the whole screen. And that's it, so once that is um, turned on, you can see the whole screen is now blocked. I cannot press on the home button, recent key, back key. And I cannot do anything. Anything that is within this blue boundaries is blocked. To unblock the interaction control or the block the area to unblock the area, you can simply press on the shortcut keys. And one of the combination is uh, by pressing on the side button and the up volume key. So pressing on that will immediately uh, take me back to my lock screen. And that's it. So that is also another feature. Uh, you can uh, set interaction control to go back to uh, the, lock, the lock screen after you have um, unlocked it. So you can uh, switch it off as well. So here is a lock screen when deactivated, so I can switch it off. And here you can see this time when I unlock it, it will not take me back to my lock screen. So here I can unlock it and it will stay on the screen that I'm currently on. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.